Jealous Kunami Kunami has been into his studies. Since he stopped playing volleyball and entered college, he didn't feel as lazy with studying as he did with playing volleyball with energetic people. Right now, it was the last day of exam week for Kunami's department, so he had been caught up with studying. It also happened to be the beginning of college volleyball week for Kindaichi. Kindaichi had morning practice on campus so he would often leave home earlier than Kunami, who had classes later on. Akira, I'm heading off. Kunami tossed around in his sleep. MHM, have a good day, I'll be on campus later. Kindaichi placed a kiss on Kunami's forehead before he left for college. Yesterday evening, Kunami had attended one of Kindaichi's volleyball games. This left him tired once they got home but he still stayed up to study for his last exam today which made him even more tired. Sleeping for a while longer, Kunami jumped out of bed after realizing that he had almost overslept. Ugh, I can't wait until this day is over. Then I can finally go back to an easier life. He got ready quickly and left for classes. Kunami was well prepared for this exam since he spent so much time studying for it. He sat in the back of the classroom and pulled out his pen. This specific class was a bit boring to him. He looked around and saw a lot of his peers chatting with each other while the professor passed out the exam papers. Because he didn't have any friends in this class, he found it miserable. He sighed. I can't wait for this to end. The pair in front of him were especially annoying. They would always gossip and talk about other people. He disliked that type of person. Dot dot dot. After the exam was over, Kunami decided to go to one of the outside seating areas on campus to wait for his boyfriend. He enjoyed sitting outside because it was like a breath of fresh air. Also, it was easier for him and Kindaichi to meet up outside to go get lunch together. While waiting, Kindaichi noticed that the same gossipy pair sat close to him. He could overhear their conversation. The men's volleyball game yesterday was so fun to watch. Yes. And I didn't expect almost all of the team to be so attractive. I know right. They looked so good in their uniform. Especially number 12. I can't believe I haven't noticed him this whole time. Kunami flinched. Wait, isn't that? You what? I found out his name is Kindaichi Utero. OMG you're so quick ha 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 ha. Hopefully he likes men. Are you gonna ask him out? Yeah. It doesn't seem like he has anyone he is dating. I asked around and no one has seen him with anyone other than his team around campus. Huh? We go to lunch almost every day together. Well, I guess that's not on campus. He probably likes women though so maybe I have more of a chance. TCH, maybe so but I'm gonna go all out when I ask for his number today. Kunami's right eye twitched. It was like he was sent to a horrible flashback during his high school days. Go all out was one of his least liked phrases and it especially annoyed him that they were talking about his boyfriend. Kindaichi is mine. How dare they say that about him. He scoffed loudly, gaining the attention of the two gossipers that sat next to him. Ah, what's his problem? IDK, he's a weirdo, anger symbol. Suddenly, Kunami noticed Kindaichi exiting the nearby building with a couple of his teammates, getting ready to meet up with him. This is my chance. After spotting his boyfriend, Kunami stood up and in his sweetest voice, he yelled, Kindaichi. Kindaichi walked up to his boyfriend with a confused expression and pink tinted cheeks. Akira. Kindaichi was cut off by Kunami's action of pulling his boyfriend into his embrace. He made sure that the two gossipers could see them. Hi baby. H hi. Kunami grabbed Kindaichi's arm and clung to it very closely, pressing his chest against his arm as they stood near the pair eyes. Eyes. How was your exam? I probably aced it. Anyway, you look so handsome today face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks. Thank you, you look beautiful. Oh wow. Thank you very much. You're different today, I kinda like it. He. Kunami placed his hands against his boyfriend's ears in order to cover them so they blocked him from hearing his next statement. He looked over at the pair and glared intensely before saying his next words. That's why you're my boyfriend and no one's gonna be asking him out or asking for his number, right? Akira? What are you doing? Kindaichi removed Kunami's hands from his ears. Oh nothing. We're so sorry. We didn't know. What? Ahaha they're not talking to us, let's go. Akira smacked Kindaichi's butt before the two began walking to their next destination. 
Where do you wanna eat? Hmm. I don't know as long as you let me feed you today. Oh okay. The two gossipers were left in shock mouth. Standing man with light skin tone. I told you he was a weirdo. I can't believe he heard you s. That was so embarrassing. When Kunami and Kindaichi got to the cafe they would eat lunch at. Kindaichi noticed that Kunami looked suspiciously happy. Did something good happen? Yes, I'm eating lunch with my very handsome volleyball playing boyfriend, face with big pleading eyes. We do this so often though. Kunami smiled to himself, thinking about how accomplished he felt. At home, Kindaichi and Kunami liked to have chill evenings, especially after a productive day. Kindaichi was lounging in bed while Kunami was just getting out of the shower. He walked out of the bathroom with only pajama shorts on, drying his damp hair with a towel. He got onto the bed with his boyfriend. PFFT. Kunami watched as his boyfriend smiled and laughed at what seemed like nothing, although it was directed toward him. What's so funny? Ha 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 Wait, I'm confused. Akira, I can't believe it. Wait, what did I do? Kindaichi wiped a tear from under his eye from the laughter. After thinking about it for a long time, I finally figured out what was happening earlier. Huh? Those two must have said something pretty serious for you to get so jealous. I, wait. I knew that you were acting more bold than you usually are and when those two spoke up, I assumed that you must have confronted them when you covered my ears. It must be because they said something about me, right? Kindaichi leaned over his boyfriend and looked down at him with loving eyes. Please tell me it was because you were jealous. Well, dot dot dot. They were saying that they would ask for your number. How could I just let them? I just wanted to show them that you were mine and that we are together already and they stand no chance against me. Kindaichi smiled. That is all true. You are mine and I could never fall for anyone other than you, Akira. He leaned down and gave a kiss to Kunami. I didn't mean to be jealous. I sort of feel bad now. Ha ha ha, don't. Those poor people. I should apologize next time. They did look pretty scared. Scared of my little jealous Akira. Stop it. Wow, that's amazing. I still can't believe it. OMG, you're so cute. Who would have known that my Kindaichi was so popular? Kindaichi wrapped his arms around his pouty boyfriend and made sure to place kisses all over him because of how cute he was being. You make me so happy. Stop it. Kunami didn't want him to stop though. For the rest of the day, the couple stayed cuddled together as they expressed their love for one another. Even in the rare moments like these, Kindaichi still found Kunami very adorable and lovable. The End